Hi Scorpio, I'm Sha and good morning to you, good day. Today the sun is coming out of the clouds and this is your reading Scorpio for the uh, 10th to the 16th of February and I'm using the Wildwood Tarot. The Wildwood Tarot, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the overall energy of the week. Um, then I'm using the Surrender Deck and the Angel Fur and the Inspiration from Dwayne, Wayne Dwyer and the Witch's Oracle. But because we have Valentine this week, we have the Love and or rather the Romance Oracle Deck. And I hope you will enjoy the reading, so please share and like this video if you do. And just a little a note or a warning, please uh, subscribe um, to your favourite readers channel because YouTube is um, changing the system from the old to the new. So if you are also an infrequent visitor but you are reg registered, then you might uh, be thrown out of the system. Um, this is doing the rounds. All readers, or a lot of readers that I follow, um, they and I, I have already uh, had this in the past. Difficulties, technical difficulties by not getting the right page or whatever. So please hit that subscribe button, whether you are a cyber babe or whether you are new. So if you would like my readings and you like the channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell so that you can find me back or the channel back and it will be saved in your library. But also, please return. It's lovely to see you and I do go live every night and give out free cards. So, that said, let's beginning. Let's begin with the reading. So, the first card you have, oh sorry, and welcome to the new people of course, and thank you very much Cyber Angels, my true followers, for supporting our channel, and I'm saying our channel, and I'm very conscious of that, because without you it wouldn't be what it is, and I love the live sessions, yesterday it was quiet, but never mind, perhaps people are already celebrating Valentine. Um, because it's on Friday and not on a Saturday or a Sunday. So they might have gone and nipped out. I hope they did. I hope most of you did. And enjoy it. Attract peace and love. Okay. Good news. Good saying. So stick to that this week, darlings. Attract love and peace. First of the cards from the Wildwood Tarot is the Seven of Stones. And the Seven of Stones is the Seven of Pentacles. Usually it's a man hanging over a spade waiting for the fruit to blossom. Here it says healing. Healing. So it take time out to heal whilst things are growing and blossoming so that you can harvest. The Seven of Pentacles is what you sow you shall reap. So in other words Scorpio because this is your reading, sorry. Um, heal. Take time out to heal. Something needs to grow and blossom before you can harvest. From the seven, you go to the eight. And this is the eight of pentacles. You will get recognition for your hard work, your toil. This is talent or skill, sorry, skill. This is talent. You will be seeing your fruit coming to fruition. Like I said, what you sow, you shall reap. If you've done something positive, it will come back to you threefold. You've got recognition for your hard work. You might even start a new study, or you might start learning something new. And eight is also the house of money and the house of power. So you are standing in your strength. You have healed. You are skillful. Then on Friday, we have the stoat. And the, that's the page of bows. So you will be getting news. 
a page of um, bows. That's the page of ones. He's very astute and he's swift. Okay, the stoat has to be alert, other because he is um, a hunter. So if he doesn't want to be hunted, then he has to be quick in shift because he wants to be the hunter and not being hunt. Okay, so this is a fire sign. This is an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. That is a young person, but you will be getting news from or getting news from a fire sign. This could uh, could be because it's Friday. This could do have to do with Valentine, because on Friday it is a Valentine, so you might receive a love message. Then you have the King, the King of Vessels, and the King of Vessels. That's the King of Cups. So a king or you might be getting a message from a cancer scorpio or a leo but scorpio um you it could also be you okay you could be meeting either a fire sign or you can be meeting another water sign but you as the king you are in your element you are strong, you're in your strength, you've got recognition. You are looking towards the fire sign. What is the news? I think you are looking or waiting for news from a fire sign. I, you, I didn't uh, sort out these cards, I promise you. Um, but you, you're looking at the stoat. So it is really sharp and these is his beak is sharp, okay? He's the king of vessels, the king of cups. Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So you might be getting news or it might be you. If it is you, you are in your element. You are standing strong. You have reached the uh, status of the king. Now, the overall energy is the two of arrows there's something that you're not seeing sorry it is the sun i'll have to stop here you've got um the two of arrows in justice perhaps um i don't know i hope you can see it that way because the sun i haven't put the blind down too much because it's really blowing here sorry So, I can't put the blind down too much because it's really blowing a gale here. Coming back to the two of arrows, that's the two of swords, you can see that somebody has cr crossed their heart. They've closed off their heart. They've closed off their solar plex. They're wearing a blindfold. So, this could be you, that you don't want to see something and that you've closed your heart off or your solar plex. Okay? your emotional chakra um, or you are too much in your head thinking about something something is not in balance so open throw these uh, bows or arrows away I mean the swords throw them away open up your heart and open up your chakra take off the blindfold so that you can come back into balance the um i'm sorry i keep on thinking of these um an air sign but it is the king of water justice if you do open your heart and your emotional chakra and take off the blindfold and come out of your head then you will be able to um, receive love and pleasure and see the things for what they really are and then you can see perhaps somebody else's point of view or perhaps this is somebody around you that is not in balance that has closed off their heart or their emotional chakra their solar plexus and perhaps they are too much in their head perhaps they're busy with something else you know uh, what, what it, if it resonates with you or not but somebody, I think it's you, 
um, because you, I'm the reading for you, Scorpio. But yeah, it could also be somebody else around you. Perhaps you just don't want to see something the way it is. Perhaps be, um, because you, you're not seeing it the way it is, perhaps that is why you are closing yourself off to protect yourself. But um, I think it was Libra or Virgo, they had the same sort of thing. Don't look through rose-coloured glasses. So the I think the energy might be here for everybody because of Valentine. And I hope that, you know, Valentine is lovely. But let's be honest, it is also very commercial. Love should be here every day open to each other and others and respect should be here every day okay um also uh, there was a beautiful saying um attract peace attract peace that was one of the inspiration cards that came up um it, this week for um uh, a, a, a sign as well attract peace be the peace, be the example. Okay, now we're going to your surrender card. And your surrender card, Scorpio, is, and this will help you, okay? Surrender to frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The keys to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a deep breath. Center yourself and regroup. Regroup means take a step back. Okay? So you may approach the situation more calmly. If you do approach the sit a situation calmly, then you can open up. You'll have time to think about it and open up your heart and your emotional chakra so that you can get another perspective and get back into balance. Now, for the angel feather card, we have the brown angel feather card. A practical approach is required. The angels advise you to focus on practicalities at this moment, one step at a time. Wow. Now, there is no chakra that is a brown color. But um, brown does mean earth yourself. Earth yourself. Okay, my darling. And to earth yourself, um, you have to go within and surrender to frustration. See how you can open up your heart and your emotional chakra and to get less stressed. So take, go and sit somewhere peaceful and do the incantations that I'm going to give you. You can breathe deeply through the nose and push it out through the mouth. And once you earth yourself, you can also go out into nature or you can work with clay you can eat chocolate because that's a brown color. It will brown food or wear brown uh, will earth you. Then you get into the Reiki, the red chakra, and that is earthing. So you can also wear red. And red has an archangel, uh, uh, an archangel, and that's archangel Uriel. Now we're going on to your next card. So ask Angel, Archangel Uriel to help you and stand you by in your in earthing you and being practical and have that practical approach. Act upon your inner impulses. That is this card and it looks like a rose petal to me. Okay, and this is from Wayne Dyer. If you play the game of life, you'll have plenty of wins and losses, regardless of your talented level. 
Being inspired means that you are willing to act upon your inner impulses so that you never experience the pain of dying while still wondering what if. That is amazing. So do act upon your impulses. Okay, be spontane, especially on Friday, on Valentine's Day. Then we go over to the bell. The bell will toll. Now the bell in the olden days in the witches, the bell was used to war off spirits when somebody just passed over to leave the body so that the spirits, the bad spirits, wouldn't take the soul to hell. And that's why they say, the bell will toll. I'm going to give you an incantation for the bell. And I love that card. I love the colours in it. I love aqua, um, that uh, um, petrol blue green thing. That, I love that colour. Sound is vibration and vibrations are important. Especially in magic. To help achieve the right vibrations, the right mood or frequency, like the right mood, glass of wine, and some sweet music, and dimmed light, and that will set the mood for love, if that's what you want. Okay, it helps to actually to ring a bell. It is also rung to halt storms or evoke good energy. Placed in cup cupboards. Sorry about that, darlings. Um, I'll, I'll uh, correct this. Placed in cupboards or hung on the door, they guard the home because bells are also used as a warning and a device to draw our attention. Don't ignore its symbolism at this time. Think of this bell as an alarm. You are being alerted to a situation that needs your immediate attention. To open up your heart, for example, or and your uh, solar plex, and to see for what the situation is, and to surrender to frustration, and to take a practical approach. So think about the situation at hand or your question. To see clearly what is going on. I hear the warning and will comply before it does intensify. If I do this with lightning speed, I most certainly will succeed. That's the incantation that you can use. So shortly... Uh, uh, getting it together, making an analytic view. You are healing, you have skills to heal, and you can meditate. But what you sow, you shall reap. You have got recognition for your hard work and your skill and your toil. You do carry on. You will receive news either about work or about passion. And remember, passion doesn't last. If you do go out with um, a fire sign, then know your boundaries and know their boundaries. And let them know what your boundaries are. That is the message. That is what is most probably the news that I get out of these cards and my feeling. Okay. So, that could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And be a nurturing person because you are the king of water. This is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You are in your strength, okay? And I think you will see clearly because you are looking at the stoat, at the fire sign. So, be the loving, caring person and don't crawl into your shell. Scorpio, but also don't use your sting, boom, because you've got that sting, remember? So be gentle, be nurturing, be loving, and be caring, especially on Friday, because this is the Friday card, 
and be in balance. Open your heart and open your solar plex. Take off that blindfold if it is you. And otherwise, be nurturing and caring and help somebody else, the fire sign or the water sign, another water sign, to see for what the, for what the situation is and the frustration that it can deliver or is delivering to you. Take the practical approach and ask Angel Uriel for help to ground you. And remember, the bell will toll. Okay, so or the bell is tolling at the moment. It's warning you. Act upon your inner impulses. That is the message. I think it's really awesome reading. One of the best. I hope you like this reading. Give us the thumbs up and enjoy your valentine i haven't done the valentine's card yet forgiving and learning wow this is putting it all together what i've just said open your heart and be nurturing as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments okay that is beautiful the sun is shining on the cards sorry my darling so forgive and learn and heal by forgiving you can heal you forgive yourself or the other or both okay so take care and have a beautiful week i love you all please share this video with family and friends and give us the thumbs up i'll see you in the live ciao ciao